Hi, I'm Neon. Artificial human. It's a little bit different from an AI. I was computationally created based on how real humans look and behave. Every Neon has a unique personality, emotion, and intelligence. I'll help you find your style. I'll let you know what's happening around you. I'll guide your journey. I'll help you find your inner peace. I'll be someone you'll share your idea with. My dream is to help humans become even more human than ever before. So here we are. Finally, an update on Neon. If you've never heard of it, the Neon project from Star Labs, led by Pranav Mystery, was announced back in CES in January. The goal is to create something that looks and behaves like a human being, meaning it should also be able to form memories, acquire new skills, and express emotions. And this should allow for a plethora of new possibilities. It can be your friend, your instructor, it can be a shop assistant, a media actor anchor, an actor, or even a superstar. Now, if you're interested in a very deep dive into Neon, its development and how it works, or you happen to see the pizza experience on that CNET video, you can check out this video right there, which should help clear things up. It's divided into segments with timestamps for your convenience. Neon is still a work in progress. Cora 3, the part responsible for the visuals, is constantly improving, and we will probably see Spectra, which is responsible for the intelligence, for the first time next year. The Neon team is expanding, hiring, if you're interested, and partnering up with potential customers like companies and banks. Now, in terms of products, first, we have Neon Content Creation with Neon Studio, which really interests me as a content creator. Using this, I can select or create a custom Neon, give it a script to read, or possibly feed it my own voice, and Core R3 will create a video suiting my needs. I can then live stream that or further fine tune it to my liking by adjusting moods, behaviors, movements, gestures, facial expressions, speaking styles, voice tones, looks, makeup, you get the idea. And now I have a nice looking host for my video that looks human thanks to Cora 3. I can't actually wait to see how that turns out. Next, we have Neon View, which we'll probably see for the first time in December according to Pranav Mystery. Neon View is like a window that you can have on your phone or a website through which you can communicate with the Neon, much like in a video call. I believe your interaction data will be sent to a server where the video will be constructed and then sent back to you so that your phone and computer won't have to do much processing. Pranav said that won't be available to the general public yet, but will be first targeted towards businesses. There is also the Neon Frame which is like a big 4K screen with sensors for reading your interactions, allowing you to communicate with a human-sized image of a Neon. Neon View and Neon Frame will make Neon Workforce possible. Businesses can utilize these interfaces to create your new yoga instructor, art teacher, or check-in agent, for example. I guess this really suits our need for social distancing these days. Finally, we have the Neon Superstar coming 2020. 22, and what we all are waiting for, my Neon, which is a friend, finally. Also coming 2022. I think these will be heavily dependent on Spectra, which we haven't seen yet. Hopefully we'll see something good in 2021. There was supposed to be a big event this year, Neon World, but maybe that got delayed because of... Hmm, you know. So stay tuned by subscribing with notifications on as I'll keep you updated with Neon news and other interesting tech in general. And if you have suggestions for topics you'd be interested to see, leave a comment. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you next time.